Hey guys, so today I want to do a bit of a comparison between Tails and Hoonix over Cubes. And we're going to start with this comparison, and I'm going to lead up into an actual proper way to download Tails or any other image. I want to show you guys how to do a proper integrity and a file and image verification to ensure that you're not downloading a backdoor. We've talked about man in the middle attacks in the past and I could be on an official website but if I don't properly verify the actual image that I've downloaded well I could be in serious trouble. On a large scale a man in the middle attack can be performed or just on your local area network. But we really don't know because these are privacy focused operating systems. Sometimes they become targeted for these kind of adversaries. We're going to go over that in some of the next videos. I'm going to go through the full process of installing Tails. Tails is a great option for you. Let's go ahead and look at the comparison and see how Hunix itself actually adds a extra virtual machine which makes up a gateway and think of it in terms of your network layout where the router itself is actually the Hunix gateway here so in a network connection your computer makes up one of these devices your ISP is over here your MAC address your local area network IP address your host name all get communication between your router which may be issued by your ISP or if you would like and what I'd suggest setting up your own router to be between this point so that your IP addresses your host names that are unique between your devices are not shared with your ISP itself and of course cataloged most likely and able to basically cross-reference you whether you change certain metadata make sure to take a look at my metadata videos I recently did to kinda of get an understanding on this when Hunix does is it creates a virtual machine that makes a router and it has a workstation as we showed in this picture here so you're working from this Hunix workstation you're inside that environment and the Hunix gateway is what makes the connection to Tor and routes all the traffic to Tor. So if you have an application on your actual workstation, your computer interface, your desktop, if an application fails, you have that safety mechanism in that it will not leak your ISP's IP address. And that makes up a big point of how Hunix protects you. Hunix uses these multiple virtual machines to create a virtual network inside your singular computer. So on top of your standard network setup, if you're running Hunix here, for example, you will have that virtual gateway that connects to Tor. You will then have your workstation, which is your entire interface that you work with and see. So this additional layer is almost like that router I mentioned earlier that I suggest you set up to protect you and protect your devices from possible adversaries that may attack from your ISP or attack your ISP and if your ISP router is compromised well then your whole networks compromised so that is why I suggest setting up another possibly a single board computer that's something I've done um, you can even set up multiple layers of these. You can route through a firewall routing and also another layer if you're really trying to be safe. Use multiple different brands even to possibly throw off any potential back doors. And there's a lot of different things you can do to customize your network and make it more secure. But the point of this video is more going over these privacy operating systems, what makes them different, how one may protect you from certain things but not necessarily protect you from other things so the Hunix design is great to prevent those basic IP address and different types of leaks that could happen if you made say a direct connection to your ISP router and wherein the IP address from your ISP would be the ones that would leak 
but that is how Hunix protects you here. By setting up this Hunix gateway, it's a basically like setting up a torrified router, uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos. And another potential point in the protection here is that the applications on Hunix are set up to protect you from certain types of metadata, you know, such as the Tor browser, for example. That's one reason I suggest using the Tor browser bundle instead of, say, Firefox. Because Firefox uses telemetry and other things. We've gone over Liberwolf. That's a great option for you. So if you are looking for a less metadata, um, a less metadata including browser, Liberwolf would be a nice selection for you. So let's take a look at that again. So take a look at that. It's a fork of Firefox. Um, not trying to get off topic, but I do think it's important to kind of throw these little pointers out because I know not everyone is going to watch every single video that I have. And so um, a point that compare with Tails is the memory erasure, which is a great Thing. It's a basically an anti-forensic operating system. It's known as an amnesic operating system. So if you're a journalist in, say, a dangerous place and you need to work quickly in a lab or possibly a cafe, you will have a Tails disk, which is on a USB. Now, when you pull that disk out, it immediately wipes the memory. And this can protect you against a side channel attack called a cold boot attack. And that cold boot attack could be made to basically uh, take your encryption keys out and pull them from the memory. But that is one reason that Tails, unlike uh, Hunix, actually wipes the memory clear when you pull that disk out. And it'll do it immediately. And I, I may demonstrate this later in a video where you pull out the USB, it immediately starts wiping and clearing all that memory. Because that's one vulnerable point in our hardware is our memory. Our memory is what stores all of the programs and applications and the different data that we're using at that m moment with our processors and what's in cache and uh, these kind of things can pull out important critical pieces of data like our encryption keys and that's why Tails works to wipe the memory on the removal of the USB. In case you have a moment as a journalist where you are working and um, possibly not supported by that local area and um, possibly could be in trouble for your, you know, your human rights work or journalism. So that's why Tails is a great operating system. You don't even need a hard drive for Tails. It's another point. So the hard drive is another weak point in the hardware forensically where you basically are taking a chance by trusting that piece of hardware. As we just recently saw with Western Digital, they're now telling people to take their Western Digital hardware offline because it is being remotely hijacked is what it appears to be doing. So Every piece of hardware is another potential risk, and Tails works to minimize these hardware risks by um, doing the memory erasure, doing the running completely off USB with not needing any hard drive for the process. And, um, well, it's not as much of a daily driver for an option, and that's why I mentioned Hunix over Cubes as a great privacy and security daily driver option for you. So... Tails is another option. It's for a different purpose and is an anti-forensic option. So if you're a journalist or a human rights activist in a place where it is not safe for you, you may want to check out Tails. It's a great option to protect people and protect journalists. You can still, of course, store your work. You can run persistence as well. And you can use that encryption and you can also protect yourself against these cold boot attacks by memory erasure that prevents that recovery because the the memory for a certain amount of time maybe a couple minutes can actually have forensically pull out the encryption keys and recover those things so that's one reason the memory erasure is so important for tails users 
It also connects you through Tor, so there's also that. You have the benefits of the Tor network, um, but you don't have the gateway. So you don't have the Hunix gateway, which the Hunix gateway really is a highly beneficial point of Hunix in that um, it isolates things further. And if you're using cubes with Hunix over it, you've got further benefits in isolation with the multiple virtual machines where and they have an excellent documentation um, I may go over it again I did record my installation before unfortunately the video didn't come out at the quality I had hoped for but I will be doing a installation and a full file integrity verification for Tails operating system so stay tuned for that make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss anything important I will also be posting to vlogs and you can check that out at buymeacoffee.com slash politictech of course um, the host buymeacoffee.com is just the host most of these posts are completely public and anyone is welcome to read them share them and I tend to post videos on them as well so take a look at that just remember Hunix over cubes it's a great option if you're looking for a daily driver but uh, if you have to worry about some type of recovery um, tails operating system is a great option for you and it is set up a little differently from Hunix. But for daily drivers, I do suggest Hunix over cubes. It's a great option for you. We can look at some of that documentation. And they have a good set of doc documentation for verifying the signatures. And I want to talk briefly about that. So verifying the signatures, what you need to know is that when you download something you're always vulnerable to a man in the middle attack even if you have a padlock up here you can have root certificates installed that appear to be legitimate and secure but that doesn't necessarily mean it's actually secure this says secure doesn't mean it's actually secure doesn't mean the download is going to be what it says it is and this is why we need to verify these di digital signatures and we need to use what's known as a web of trust now the web of trust is where we take multiple different instances and different platforms that are not linked together on the same server and we verify the actual signature and the integrity check using multiple sources to find the proper signature. We want to make sure everything matches. We want to make sure that the programmers and the keys match across different platforms. And that's what the web of trust is all about. It's about find using a web of trust, a web being multiple different platforms, and using trust between all of those different platforms. And if it matches across different platforms, it is likely very high confidence that it is the proper you know key signature and you can then run and install that system because once you've installed a backdoor you are in a bad hopeless situation and further backdoors can be integrated into your hardware and you can have all kinds of things from evil made attacks to basically having remote running remote desktops for people you don't even know so make sure to verify it I'm gonna do a whole video on this one and we're gonna go through the process together we're gonna to do some web of trust uh, research and some verifications you wanna make sure it's the right person who made it who signed it with their key you wanna make sure the integrity checks all check out and you want to use the web of trust to do that so that's why it's so important so that's going to be coming up the tails operating system we'll talk more about the benefits on it and I wanted to do this video just as a bit of a comparison because what is right for one person may not be right for the other person if you need a daily driver something that can protect your security and your privacy and use multiple layers of virtual machines to isolate different pieces and peripherals and different parts of it using multiple different virtual machine operating systems Hunix over cubes it's a great option for you if you need something on the go where you are possibly a journalist or human rights activist in an area where 
your rights may be under threat, you might want to check out Tails. I highly suggest Tails. I've used Tails for years, on and off, depending on what the work is. And it's a great option for you. It's something that I highly suggest everyone take a look at. I'm going to be doing a video, and I'm going to be recording the desktop as well as verifying the integrity, signatures, and the keys and everything. So stay tuned for that. I will be back later with more videos on how to protect your privacy. Make sure to like this video, share this video, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get a notification when I come out with a new video. I'll try to keep putting out original content. I try to cover things that aren't covered by other channels. Some channels miss things. They go over a lot of things that are recommended programs and whatnot, but sometimes these details are super important, like the integrity checks. These are super important because if you install a backdoored operating system, what is the point of having a privacy operating system? So make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back later with more on how to protect your privacy.